of black eyed Dang. Susan, but and it's a perennial, it comes back every year. But Jen, I'm telling you, this is going to get you into gardening because they bloom like an. I'm always trying. They <laughs> bloom, <laughs> no, you're, you're, you, I know you're there. They bloom like an annual, so they're like bloom machines. All of these flowers are real. And um, I have one in a container outside that's already coming up for this year. Right before the show, we both sat down and Sandra goes, Jen, these are real. And I go, no. And I start touching them. Because they look know? like jewelry, right? So here it is from Roberta's first time you're seeing it this year. Now, it says new today. Do you know why? Because last year we sent it out in a half gallon container. This year we're sending you a gallon container of the what the world of horticulture is freaking out for. They are going wild for it. Experts all over the field of horticulture are really trying to get their hands on this. And guess who got it uh -huh. and brought it to us? Roberta's. They kind of cornered this. And so they're bringing it to us. A black eyed Susan, but the flowers are about four times the size of regular black eyed Susan. Yeah, these can get six inches across. Wow. And, Court, they don't stop blooming. No, these are bloom machine. Sandra, first I want to say, as I live and die, Sandra Bennett, <laughs> QVC's in the garden oh, host, who I, I haven't you. seen in two months. <laughs> we, we need to get together. Anyway, so this awesome. mini Becky of Flame is something that comes That's along so once every generation right. or two. These yes. are bloom machines. This is what an annual or a perennial, doesn't matter which wishes it could be. But it is a perennial, comes back year after year. It is, but it blooms like an annual. Year, and right. no other perennial that I know grows like this. These are not full grown. Look, this is a Oh wait, a actually, knot. you know what they have? Show Last year me. I went to Michigan and I was in the trial gardens, gardens yeah. with this, right? So I'm very passionate about it. I want to show you, now this was being grown in Michigan, so it got a later start than say if it were in the Carolinas or something, or even here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we started in yeah. May. I we start show planting you, in May. This was um, July 24th last year. This is me. I want you to see how big this one plant was on July 24th, 2023. Crazy That's huge. That's how big these plants get. Yeah. That's all real. And actually, I had the same results in my garden. I couldn't believe I it. I know. Well, I think I heard you mention at the opening that yours are coming up yes. now in yeah, a yeah. container. So I have some in the ground. I have some in a con I have three. Um, I have one in a container. And today I realized it's already coming up. Isn't that great? OK, so here's what we're going to ship yeah. to you. You yeah. are already going to be set Look. up for success. Yeah. So Eric was, and I were talking. This is such a fabulous plant. People love it. What can we do to make it better? I don't know. There's nothing better. <laughs> but let's put it in a gallon pot so you get your flowers even sooner this year. The growing guide, our Gotta Grow guarantee, are included. But this is all real, folks. This oh, wait is a what second. you're getting in the mail. Wait, Brian, did you say her name was Sharon? OK, so Sharon in our chat. So you all can right. go on the live stream. Go to QVC.com, search live stream, start chatting. Hey, Sharon. Sharon in the chat said she bought these last year, and she couldn't even believe how long they bloom. I and know. it was the same thing for me and the and cool me. thing is they bloom like the most bloom like wild annual but they come back year after year I know. after year I, so that was in July the picture the that picture you showed. I showed I'm sorry right. I'm pointing to yeah. your phone that's not that's even okay. there so and then you think oh my god that was a great plant but then comes August September and you're like what the heck this thing just keeps growing look at it in the garden it's so beautiful it has the uh, yellow petals with that dark eye and a ring of burgundy in the center. Look at it with the reds, the cannas, the dark maroon leaves on those cannas. It's okay. beautiful. It's also beautiful with purple flowers. 500 have already been ordered. Almost everyone is picking up more than one. First time presented when this Court year. When Court says this is like a once in a generation breeding breakthrough mm -hmm. with these Black Eyed Susans, he is not kidding. We had them on last year. They very quickly sold out. It says new today because this year we're sending you a container that is twice the size. And then there you are, Court, with it at your townhouse. That's at your townhouse right yeah, here in that's Pennsylvania, a, right? Yeah, that's a mile and a half from here. And that was in late May. I was going to say, you know why I know that was pretty early? Because I see your alliums. Yeah, right and where they the wouldn't be there later in no, the summer. No, no, that's late May. It's like People. a plant detective. Yes, <laughs> this is uh, bred by Garden Genetics here in the U.S. A gentleman by um, Joe Caver. We this might have his photo. I'm not sure, but he's a great friend of ours. The size and of I'm so proud of him. Why they call it a mini Becky? Because really there's nothing mini about the flowers, but the a lot of rude Beckyas and black eyed Susans can grow. Oh, this grow, is great. Okay, yeah. Can grow 
six feet tall, but these are compact plants that's with right. huge flowers. So is this a typical size? That, well, or is that just, by the oh, first, that's by this first, stage, yeah. but Look they can this. get six inches across, Look at Sandra. the six size of these flowers. Every flower you see here is real. Mm -hmm. Every flower is coming from one plant. Yeah. And I'll show you again, these plants are actually not as big as they will get. These were start, this is in Michigan, late July last year. That's one plant that you said had been started. We started in May, which is a so typical, is like, like a, Mother's Day At most in like May. a two month old plant. Yes. And look at how, oh, I just made myself a sticker. Got, um, look how big that is. It, it gets five stars. We rate those week after week after week. Uh -huh. And so we rate them for seven weeks, five stars for the seven okay. weeks, but then they kept growing. Oh, you know, our trials are over by that yeah. time. But two months later, it's yes, like you want to give it a 10 star. Okay, Mary from the chat and she's right. chatting on our live stream. She wants to just know, are these going to grow or multiply? Well, no, it's like a, a bush almost. Yeah. So, it grows like a, a, a size of a bush, a three by three bush. So yeah, they're not invasive. Not, they don't spread. Mary, you it's know what it is? It's your get typical a perennial in that, well, it's not typical in the way you get so many more blooms. So the first year, you're going to get a ton of blooms. Mm -hmm. Then the second year, even more. And then that third year, it's going to take that leap and it's going to be, you know, giant. But here's the thing. I just could not get over it, it was like it was like a it was like a um, black eyed Susan had the blooming power of like a sun patient. Exactly, but grew like, like just, a three just... foot tall bush. So pick up several, plant these. If we can go back to images, you can see how they look. Uh, you know, side after side uh, together, but plant them about three feet apart. 1300 now ordered, going be quickly. Amazed. First time offered this season in a one gallon pot. And we have the bounty plant food, which you yep. want to pick up. And we even have the sun grow potting mix that if you're growing in containers, mm -hmm. order that. Well, you know, it wasn't because we were plant we were presenting these today. I just went outside and was doing a little cleanup because it was so nice outside. It's and 70. I said to my husband, oh look my gosh, would you look at this? My mini Becky Echinaceous. is coming up in the container. Yeah. So pretty. Geraniums. I look love it with the canna. Red. Yes, the cannas. So look, all the layers of petals. Uh, that's me right here. That was in May. All right, so you guys, so. I'm gonna give you a little, I'm gonna give you a little inside track. I've asked for this plant to be in, in the garden with Sandra, not tomorrow, next week, fingers crossed. I would get it now. Who even knows if I'll have any to present then. It's very, very popular. I'm so glad you like it. You will love growing this. Through five easy payments of $6.20 and we're gonna ship it for free. Hey, and someone in the chat was also asking Thanks. about hens and chicks. Oh, we're trying to save those for you too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll join you in the chat right now. So. All right. And now it's our today's special value. I got to tell you, I know the name of the show is Spring It On, but I'm getting summer vibes too out of this today's special value. It is